Welcome back to my channel. This is my first UWC themed video and today I'm going to talk about things that I wish I had known before I left, before I got onto that plane. But this video is mostly for me to look back on when I'm back at school to just remind myself of some of the important things and that I tend to forget. I'm from Namibia and last year I got accepted into UWC and I was sent to UWC Maastricht and that was my first time ever moving abroad that was my first time living alone without my parents so I had to be responsible for myself I had to, had to make sure I took care of myself I had to make sure I was responsible and looked after everything and I was only 16 uh, yeah I'm happy that I was able to have that experience um, so today I have a list of five to four things that I wish I had known at UWC or things that I wish I had kept in mind while I was there. Number one is to keep your values in mind. Alright, so at UWC, at least at my college, let me clarify that there are 18 different schools. So each and every person will have a different experience. So this video is completely my own experience. So at my UWC, in one room you have four people and these rooms are intentionally diverse. So for example, I was from Namibia, I had a Brazilian roommate, a Belgian roommate and a Malaysian roommate. And the point of this is to try and get you to get the group to work through cultural differences and live together in a way that serves everybody. Now obviously it's not easy so you do have to make some sacrifices and you do have to keep in mind what are what's important for you. So for example some of my values are getting enough sleep, being able to have like a quiet space in the room if I need to study. What we did with my roommates is on the very first day, the very first night or it might have been the second night but right at the very beginning we sat down and we talked about everything that may, might make us uncomfortable things that we would want to have in our bedroom for example i think we we said that by midnight the lights have to be off like, there's no excuse like lights have to be out if you're studying you can go study somewhere else but the lights have to be out so just to have those um conversations right at the beginning and to identify what exactly you want to bring up when you are with your roommates number two is to write down exactly what you want to get out of your UWC experience because I'm sure you've heard it before many times but UWC is what you make of it you can craft your own UWC experience so if you want to have it more academically based and maybe a little bit less socializing you can do that you get to pick how you want to spend UWC you get to pick the extracurriculars you do you get to pick the group of friends you spend your time with. You get to pick what you do on the weekends. You get to, to pick who you spend your time on the weekends with. Before you get there, write down exactly what you want. How do you want to spend your time? Is it academic first or socializing? Or sleep, you know, some people pr <laughs> prioritize sleep. Number two has to do with friends. At my UWC at least, you have approximately 300 residential students. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. And it's a bit overwhelming at first. But <clears throat> what I would say is that you don't have to be friends with everybody. Okay? I'm not saying don't be friendly with people. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is what's important here is a balance. Let me explain. There are a handful of people that you can be close with, okay? That's a given. You can't be extremely close with every single person that you meet, all right? So in order to be close with certain people, you need to spend a bit more time with them, right? Um, and time spent with one or two people, getting to know them really well, is not time wasted. Because <clears throat> these few people that you get to know and that get to know you, you can go to them when you have problems, you can go to them when you need help, and if you need someone to just listen, they will listen. So don't be scared to form close friendships. But on the other side, this is both sides of the scale, on the other side, especially at the beginning, be cautious with forming cliques, alright? Because you're not always going to have that person. You're going to want to be in the comfortable position where you can sit with anybody at the table while you're eating and have a conversation. Make sure that you have 
people that you're close to don't be afraid to spend time with just a few people especially for me like this is something i really needed to hear and on the other side don't go too extreme with forming cliques because there are a lot of people to meet. You don't necessarily have to be best friends with everyone, but just to be able to talk to, to a random person, to start a conversation, to talk about their country, like that's a very important thing. You don't have to become like besties, but yeah. I think it's the fourth one, I'm not sure. The next one is also about social life is to make sure that you give yourself alone time. Actively give yourself alone time and this is difficult when you are at my school at least with four people in your bedroom so there are six rooms so 24 people on one floor you are constantly surrounded by people when you go eat your dinner your lunch your meals you're surrounded by people you're always with people so i would tell myself spend time with you and yourself because that's important um, and ways that you can do this is to find a hobby that you like to do, like if you play an instrument, like or if you like to draw, spend time drawing, if you like to journal, journal. Or you can go for walks on your own. Obviously tell your roommates where you're going. You can go for runs on your own. And like sometimes just going to the supermarket on your own just really clears your mind and you just get a sense of return to yourself. Um, because for me at least it can be, become a bit overwhelming when I'm always around people. I know that there's nothing wrong with wanting time alone. The next tip is financial advice. Obviously, I'm only a student so I don't really know much about money. I'm not really <laughs> equipped to give advice. But what I would tell myself is to zero everything out and no I don't mean use all your money, no. At my school, I think most kids got an allowance every single month. So what I would do is if you plan to save, let's say you get 40 euros a month. Okay, this is just an example. Let's say you get 40 euros a month for your basics, right? And you wanna save 10 euros every month. Every month you save 10, you spend 30. What you want to do is with the 30 that you spend, make sure you know where every cent is going okay those five cents those ten cents those 20 cents like know where everything is going because what happens a lot is that you have all this money and it, like all of a sudden it's gone and who knows where it went and with when it comes to cents like i know they can build up at my school at least i've been told um, you can go to finance and exchange those coins for, you know, like bigger money. So you can get like um, 5 euros or 10 euros like from the coins that you have left. Um, I've never done that, but I think that's something I will do next year. Just to make sure that, you know, I'm not losing all of these cents. Because cents can build up, guys. Cents build up. And especially when you're spending your money as cash. Um, yeah, the cents can cents become very important next tip is to form solid habits before you get there all right so if one thing okay if you talked about like what do i want to get out of my uwc experience and one thing that you identified was i want to become a more health conscious person what you can do is start that right away you know if you have a month before you actually leave start that right now if you want to at UWC, you want to read an hour every day before bed? Start that right now. Like, there's no reason why you have to wait till you get there. And the reason why I'm saying this, when you get to UWC, you're going to have around a week to settle in, but everything is going to be so new to you that it would be extremely helpful to have habits that you already have that you can fall back on to make sure that you're still staying consistent with what you want to achieve what you believe in and that you don't have too much to adjust to and an example would be if you want to go for a run if you want to start running when you're at uwc start that before if i have two weeks before i leave start that two weeks before you go because once you get there you're going to be able to get into that rhythm without much effort because it's something you've already done and this goes for waking up early or going to bed early start that before you get there because there's going to be a lot to adjust to with people you have to adjust to the living space the country the weather the food that if you can at least have a few habits down your sleeve that you know you can you know just do 
that's great do you have any more don't look at my pants my pants are not matching my clothes if you have any other suggestions video suggestions please let me know um i really want to spend more time on youtube and you know more uwc content or if you're if you're at a uwc that comment below let me know which one you go to i would love to know and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the future i guess bye bye